Hi there! Today I'm on Club Penguin Island because I feel like playing it. So, I don't know what to say for this video, so I'm just, to be honest, I should start scripting my videos so that I actually know what to say when I'm doing them. But anyway, we are going to explore Club Penguin Island because, yeah. So, ever since at least like February, they've added a lot of new features for non-members. They've added, um, they've added, you can ride tubes, they've added, they have this little party hat, they had this little party hat during the anniversary party that non-members can wear. They hand out, they hand out free non-member shirts every single party, and usually parties are every month or two months if they're, if they're, um, working really hard on them and they're going to be really amazing so this the current party is going on the current party that's going on is the summer splashdown which is leaving tomorrow for the medieval party yay so this is this over here this over here is where the setup is. There's a bouncy blob, which you can bounce on and try and get to the cloud that's up above, which I'll show you in a moment because you'll be able to see it. And this cone that I'm holding is a little summer splashdown treat. It's a little, like, fish cone thing. Oh, and by the way, um, non-members also have... Which tab is it? This tab. In party supplies... You can get all of these things from, if you log on every day, there's a daily wind spin, which if you get all of them, you can get more party supplies, which I have all of these. And non-members can have them and hand them out to people. And you can also eat them. By the way, there's a lot of interactive things in this, in Club Penguin Island, so there are a lot of interactive animations that you can see. Even for the bubble chat, or like the automated chat, I don't know what it's called. But even when you say something, it does an animation, which I gotta get out of the tube to demonstrate here. So we're gonna say... Shrug. It literally does a shrug. And like party in my Iggy, it does... So, for the summer splash down to get to the to get to the top of these slides, you take a rocket zip line and you go up. And you can see that cloud where you bounce to the bouncy blob to try and get to it. I'm not exactly sure how you get to it because it's really high up. So, here is the one water slide which you need a tube to properly go down. If you just if you don't have a tube, then you can't proper then you can't then you'll just have to walk down it. Oh, and by the way, um, everybody gets a default tube when they sign, when they log on, when they sign up for Club Penguin, so you don't have, well, Club Penguin Island, so you don't have to buy a tube, but there are special different tubes for members which you can buy, but for non-members, they get a default tube, and who knows, maybe they might add the special tubes for non-members someday, I don't know, because Club Penguin... Island has definitely had a lot has definitely added a lot more for non-members ever since they started. So if you so if the last time you logged on there wasn't much to do for non-members, I recommend you kind of log on every once in a while or maybe at this time because they've added a lot and maybe it's different from the last time that you played. And maybe your view of Club Penguin Island might change. Maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. Oh, and they also have team dance battles you can do, which also non-members can do. So, um, I'm going to go to Beacon Boardwalk and show you all that. So, for, so also for non-members, they also have missions, like little adventures they can do to earn XP and level up. And the first and the first adventure is always for non-members. Always. So you can earn XP, level up, and you and you get new emojis and get new items and oh, also about the daily wind spin, if you log in every day, 
you there's different chests and you get to open a chest and maybe you might get a t-shirt or some or some party supplies like I was saying earlier and the more you log on the different levels of chests you get currently I'm at the silver chest and these little flowers around the island and like these little shells you can um there's little things laying around the island like she seashells flowers that you can collect and then trade them in for coins and then with coins you can buy games from the shops and design clothes and do all that kind of st stuff and they also have these little mini games sometimes like every couple minutes here like trampolines and beach balls and they have a game called Tilto Tube which Tilto Tube Basically, is you use a tube and you're on a platform and you gotta knock off other people and then be the last one standing to win. And this is the migrator, which you first, which is the first thing you see when you when you come onto Club Penguin because you get introduced to Captain Rockhopper. And you do his first and you do a little mission for Antarctic and here's the food trekker which at a bunch of shops you can buy little games there's one called marble hunt and there's one called fossil forest and ink or swim and you can and you can play these with everybody and it's and they're really fun I think fossil four fossil four is probably the most fun one in my opinion and also Non-members are able to design clothes, but they cannot wear them. And every single non-member gets a seven-day free membership trial, in which they can access all of the member benefits that they have. So I will demonstrate designing clothes and stuff right here. So for when you sign on to club, when you sign into club, well, when you sign up for Club Peng Penguin Island, you're able to design. You're able. You have all these starter fabrics that you can make clothing with, and as you level up, you unlock fabrics. And I've unlocked quite a few of these fabrics, but I am an on member, so I can't access, so I can't use them. So you can basically design clothes however you want, and you also get D, and you can also use decals to personalize your clothing even more. And original Club Penguin didn't have this. You couldn't design clothing or you couldn't design clothing or use decals on your clothing. So I think this is a pretty cool feature for um, Club Penguin to add. So, yeah, that's kind of what you do in Club Penguin Island, and the social aspect is quite big, too. Also, there's igloos that everybody can decorate. Not Non-members can ha have limited items that they can use, that they can use, like basic items like couch, chair, and like trees and stuff. So you can decorate your eye, your den, not den, I'm mistaking animal jam, your igloo with. And you can all, and you can do a lot of create, and there's a lot of creative possibilities that you can do with this. I've seen people make parkour, and, um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this little Club Penguin video this Club Penguin Island video. I think I'll be playing more in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!